for watching the award-winning GHS TV, Germantown Community Television, your hometown news and information station. Hello and welcome to GHS TV's award-winning talk show, Crosstalk. I'm your host, Amy Fenton. Each week during this time slot, we take a look at different issues, personalities, and events that affect you and our community. I'm here at the Poplar Pike Playhouse at Germantown High School, where the hit musical Curtains is set to make its Tennessee premiere. Curtains opened on Broadway March of 2007, and now the Poplar Pike Playhouse is honored to be one of the first theaters in the nation to produce this dazzling musical. Today, we'll take an exclusive behind the curtain tour of the production and meet some of the faces behind this dazzling musical. Right now, we're in the lobby of the Poplar Pike Playhouse. Let's step inside the theater to talk with director Frank Bluestein to see what he has to say about this production. The Poplar Pike Playhouse has been producing professional level shows since 1976. With me now is founder and director Frank Bluestein. Thank you for letting us be out here today. You're welcome. Glad to be here. You're known as the father of the Poplar Pike Playhouse. Okay. Can you give me a brief history of the Playhouse? Well, back in 1976 when I first came to Germantown, we had this theater where we're sitting in right now, but it really wasn't a theater. It was just strictly a study hall. And I saw all the potential because there was a stage and, and, there, and there was a pit and there was really everything you needed almost for a theater. And, and uh, the principal at the time, Ernest Chisholm, said, I want to have really good quality plays here as part of our overall program for this school. So I just thought that we needed to name the theater, give it an identity, and move forward. And that's what we did. And, and kind of the rest is history. Um, how does curtains fit into the history of the Poplar Pike Playhouse? Well, one thing that we've tried to do all of this time, Amy, is to find plays, number one, that are appropriate for students to do and that is contemporary material, as contemporary as it can be. And we've also tried a lot in many places to do uh, Southern playwrights. Now this doesn't fit the Southern playwrights issue, but it's certainly a contemporary play. It's certainly a play that, um, that's very accessible for high school students to perform. In other words, there's not a lot of uh, grandparents and parent issues and that kind of thing. I mean, most of the characters could be played by high school students and be very believable. What makes this one unique? to the Memphis area? Well, I, I, that's a great question. It, it's, it's unique because we're the first, one of the first high schools, or actually one of the first theaters in America, non-professional, to do this. Uh, uh, musical Curtains just closed on Broadway last year. Usually there's a very big touring show, and usually you don't get high schools uh, even the rights to, to be able to have the rights to do a show until maybe three or four years after it's closed. But lucky for me, a friend of mine uh, owns the company that uh, is licensing the play and he asked me if we wanted to do it and, and actually even before he asked me I didn't even know that they his company owned it we decided that we wanted to do the play it fit perfectly for our needs and for our, the students that we have this year. What has it been like directing the show? Oh it's a lot of fun this is a great great musical because it's got great music Candor and Ebb who wrote Chicago and who wrote Zorba, and who wrote Cabaret. It's just great music. The script was written by Rupert Holmes, one of my favorite playwrights. He wrote The Mystery of Edwin Drood, which was one of the best shows I think that we ever did here years ago. Uh, in fact, about, it was about 20 years ago that we did that show. So you put all that together, you've got a musical, you've got a comedy, Holmes' comedic writing, and then you've got this great mystery on top of it that's very fun. It's, it, it just will appeal to a lot of people. What is the age range for this musical? Well, I would say probably anywhere from about eight years and up. I mean, it, it, it has a mystery element to it. It, it, um, it, it certainly is a very family-oriented play. I guess it's got a few, um, really not any situations in it. It, it maybe has a, a couple of minor, very, I, I would say, little words in it. Most of that will probably be gone by the time we open. And, uh, but beyond that, it's, it's really a family show. I just think to, to comprehend the show, you'd probably have to be eight years or up. Um, the Poplar Pike Playhouse uh, has a lot of milestones that they've made. Curtains is going to be another one. What are some previous milestones? 
Well, we've been the first theater to do a lot of plays. I mentioned before the mystery of Edwin Drood. We were the first, we were certainly the first high school in the United States to do that play back in 1988. One of the first non-professional theaters in the country. One of the first uh, non-professional theaters to do Pippin. That was back in 1979. Uh, we did Monday After the Miracle, uh, Into the Woods. We were one of the first theaters to do Into the Woods. So we've had a long history of doing plays that have just closed on Broadway and we're able to get the rights. We uh, Just a few years ago, we did Seussical. Uh, again, one of the first theaters in the country to do Seussical, a non-professional version. Uh, later on in this tour, we're going to meet with Steve Danielson, the musical director, and Ashley Burns, the costumes, and, um, and the choreographer, Miss Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. um, what other aspects of the play go on or to get ready for the play? Well, I mean, there, there's so much. I mean, like right now we're working on the props. We're working, and this play has a lot of props because there's guns and daggers and, and bags that fall on people in the middle of the show. Uh, of course, there's the scenery, the physical scenery, and this show has a lot of different sets. This is a show within a show. This is a company of actors and they're doing a show and then so you see that show plus you see the actors as real actors. So it has to have a lot of sets and um, we're doing that. We, we have a small stage so it's kind of a challenge always to make that work and um, there's as you mentioned all the other elements there's costumes and there's lighting and there's sound. There's all of those kind of areas and, and, and all of that takes a lot of pre-work. What makes the Poplar Pike Playhouse uh, better or more unique than other high school theaters? Well, I just would like to say that we're, I don't think, I don't know how different we are than other high school theaters, except that we really love doing professional level plays. We feel like um, uh, we, we have a real commitment to our students um, in, in making this the most special experience that it can be. And, and we want it to be that way for the community. I think maybe one thing that sets us apart is that we have so much community support. We have so many people that have believed in what we're doing over the years, and that just makes it a lot easier. Um, and the students here at Germantown really take this seriously. They want their production to be the very best. They want it uh, to set the standard, and, um, and that's always been the case. There's just a lot of pride here. All right, well, um, I know that you've been here since 1976, and you've seen multiple musicals in its history. Um, what's your favorite musical memory? Well, my favorite musical, as I tell everybody, is the one that I'm working on right then and there. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Curtains is my favorite musical right now. I can for sure tell you that. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I probably like um, the darker musicals a little bit. I, I'm more for, I mentioned Mystery of Edwin Drood. I love that. I loved Into the Woods. I loved directing The Secret Garden. Uh, those were all three. I loved Ragtime that we did just a few years ago. But I, I must say, on the other hand, I, 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 I think I was a little partial to Seussical. I liked that. It was a, we did a very unique production. Um, I've, and I've, the musical that I've really, one of the few musicals I've done twice is um, Oklahoma, which is a very old standard musical, but I love doing it. I love the Fantastics. Uh, we toured that show in Russia. So, you know, it's, yeah, those are, I guess, are my favorites, but, but I, I like all the, there's really not a musical that we've done that I didn't like. Couldn't, I couldn't direct musicals if I didn't like it. <laughs> well, thank you for letting us talk to you. Mm -hmm. Next, we're going over to musical director Steve Danielson. Before we go, here's a clip from one of Mr. Bluestein's favorite PPP musicals. We got the 